Good morning, Damien. How are you? Good morning, guys. How you doing? We're doing well. Hey, just because it's never happened before doesn't mean it won't happen. So my question to you, Damien, is will blowing a three-goal lead in the third period of Game 7 leave a psychological scar on this organization and its fan base? Well, I mean, uh, I think fans of the Red Sox, probably before they won their first championship right. uh, in a long time, will recognize a lot of what Leaf fans are going through. And, you know, I, I think there is uh, a scarring, particularly of a young team of this experience. And, and it won't it won't heal over and it won't disappear until they get to another situation like this and, and win. I mean, that's just the way sports work. Um, you know, no team did... Uh, you know, I think we all, whether it's in Boston or Toronto, we're always guilty of looking at it through the lens of our particular city. And, you know, you can look at it that the Leafs did something uh, uh, that no team had ever done before or that the Bruins did something that no team had ever done before. Right. So it depends on how you look at it. As the series unfolded, it seems to me there was this narrative that, you know, Probably Leaf fans d didn't think that this is a year that they're going to win the Cup, but it's an upcoming team. It's a young team. It has a bright future, all of that. Does the manner in which they lost sort of take that good feeling away? Yeah, for today, for yeah. sure. You know, I mean, uh, uh, look, nobody overact, overreacts to uh, things that happen in hockey like people in Toronto overreact, and that's part of being a fan, you know. And, you know, I get a lot of emails and a lot of tweets this morning, this, that, and the other, and people are upset. You know, I got four kids. <laughs> I told, I didn't tell them to be Leaf fans, but they are, so they suffer when right. things like this happen. Um, you know, but I, 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 my expectation is is that more, um, you know, there'll be a lot more sober second thought over that uh, with the organization itself. They understand that uh, regardless of what happened last night, this is a team with a bright future. And regardless, you, you don't make any decisions that, um, based on last night that you wouldn't have made otherwise. And, you know, in terms of catastrophic losses, you know, you can go to Jean Vandeville at yeah. the British Open, or you can go to all kinds of losses. And really, in the grand specter of things, this one doesn't measure up to that. Oh, it's in the conversation, Damien. It really is. I mean, we mentioned Van de Vaal. loss in the Stanley Cup playoffs? Yeah. The first, well, it's uh, it's unprecedented, a three-goal lead Agreed, in the third but, period. I mean, in terms you... of, like, all-time losses in the history of sport is what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't think this one... But well, I, yeah, I don't. No, I don't no, think no. no. We we liked the Damien the column today better than this one. We you you know we you you came down pretty hard on them, and you should because you're in Toronto and in Boston, and Toronto. This is bigger than John Vandeveld. You know what I mean? This is this hits home, and I'm sure your people up there are just devastated. Can you tell us what they did wrong? You mentioned the rope a dope in your tweet. They went into the rope a dope. Did they just get too defensive? Is it that simple, Damien? Well, they were able to do it in game five and maybe they thought they could do it again um i think that's part of it and again i, I mean i thought uh, i thought that that game changed when uh, when milan lucic decided it was going to change right um and in lucic and zidane ochara you have two unique players and the leafs simply had nothing they could do to counteract them when those guys decided that this that, that, that this season was not over for the boston bruins and you could just you could just see it um in the kind of game it was, it was a game for Lucic in particular, who might be, when he's playing his game, uh, I don't know if there's anybody like him in the NHL. So uh, I think the Leafs panicked. I think that they have a lot of young guys who all of a sudden looked around and said, somebody's got to get us out of this. I think James Reimer didn't make the saves he, needs to, uh, he needed to make um, when it mattered. For more, visit weei.com slash video.